So the best solution for you if you have feet problem or foot problem is this toe heel or heel toe shifter because you just have to press down you don't have to move your ankle no, and stuff but in case you want the jockey shifter and that was your question i'm answering right now is uh, so it's kind of simple construction you know so you have to to make a base plate here just to mount it to the bike somehow i made it I, you need some welding skills or possibilities welder at home or something like that and i i made a base plate kind of base plate thing you know here just i screwed it to the cooler mount and those we call them here in germany stand bearings just because you can stand <laughs> somehow and um you know uh, you can use just a rod here, a broomstick, or I don't care, but I, I use a bicycle front end here just to make it uh, look cool, you know, so it starts thick and goes thinner and it's kind of curved and, you know, it's, uh, you know, this is a Ford Capri knob here. And once it goes out from the other side, and here's the tricky part here right now, is just you need... First of all, I had to screw it here just to find the right angle I'm going in, 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 in I mean, in uh, comparison to the shifter, you know, the shifter goes this way, let's say, you know, I had to find the angle that I'm going to use here. And that's why I use those kind of bearings here just to make it adjustable so you can adjust the height anyway. And with that, you change the position of the shifter from the other side and you keep uh, even the traveling uh, um, distance, you know, controllable. And to control that more, you need to make this kind of plate here, or to call it steel plate. You have to make you you make it about 25 centimeters something. Uh, you know, if you are um, imperial measurement from 25 centimeters, you know, just Google that in foot inches. Uh, 10 inches maybe yeah 10 inches and then you make many holes because if this part is too long you will have ugly here and a very short travel in level of the jockey shifter here and now first gear second gear third gear but if you have it short it will look better here you know kind of three inches or something and the problem will be you will have a longer, much, much longer uh, travel distance on the jockey shift. So it will, the first gear will be maybe here, you know, and the second gear you don't, you don't reach it with your own hand, you know, so. <laughs> so that's why you have to try diverse, diverse or different holes here just to find the perfect position for you. And then I have another video to think about that. I don't know. And then you, uh, you can decide the length and you cut it, you shape it, and this is it. Here, um, I, as I said, once you turn those and screw them up or something so you can adjust the distance. And then later, I had to weld that, of course, because this will get loose, you know. So, just was for testing purposes in the beginning, just to, you know. But I kept the uh, those because they look cooler to me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And then I drilled a hole here, I mounted that, and this is it, you know, it's it's, it's not very complicated, but not so, but, but easy even to, to build, you know, and some welding skills are needed, and, you know, about the parts, as I said, you can find that everywhere. Yeah, and, no, yeah, good luck, and I hope you get better with your foot. <laughs>